Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Remember, we start with the pits because it's very unforgiving for the left hand. It forces us to get the string down far enough. You want to be listening for a solid tone. If you hear a thud, it's because you're not getting your fingers down all the way. The tendency is to want to let these fingers collapse down when we're trying to press down the string. This is a big no-no, okay? We always want rounded fingers. I am Clay from the cello.online and here is lesson two or step two in learning hot cross buns. It's a close tie between uh, step two and step three but we're going to start with the left hand. Uh, sometimes I start with the right hand with different pieces but since we were just singing this one and internalizing it in the first lesson we're going to go to the left hand here for step two because it does take a while to get this hand strong enough. When you're first learning cello and doing these pre-twinkle songs, you need to start strengthening this hand. And we start with pizzicato. Now, if you don't know why we start with pizzicato, uh, then there's a video all about that on the channel. But we do start with pits here. So hopefully you've sung it and internalized it and you know what it's supposed to sound like. And we're going to start on the D string here. And it is helpful uh, if you didn't see the first lesson, make sure you, you go and watch that. But we're going to sing along and we're going to pluck along here. Hot cross buns. Here we go. Hot cross buns. Hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny. Hot cross buns. Now make sure you're playing it down here in first position on the D string. Now important when you're plucking the hot cross buns, what to listen for. Remember, we start with the pits because it's very unforgiving for the left hand. It forces us to get the string down far enough. You want to be listening for a solid tone, okay, while you are plucking along. If you hear a thud, it's because you're not getting your fingers down all the way. Remember, Watch that video about why we start with pits. But you have to learn, remember, hand shape over here. We're practicing the hand shape. We're getting these fingers, all right, curved, uniform, all right. And actually, we're not using fourth finger. This is the other reason that we're starting with hot cross buns because it helps us uh, get this hand in place nice and rounded. and I'm looking over here, bad habit. Make sure you're looking forward. This is really important. Practice in front of a mirror, practice in front of a device, okay? Things that can go wrong when you go and you're really, because you know when you're first learning cello and your hand is getting strong, the tendency is to want to let these fingers collapse down when we're trying to press down the string. This is a big no-no, okay? We always want rounded fingers, okay? And there's other videos here on the channel about rounded fingers and, and the importance of the left hand shape. You can go see those. But make sure while you're getting the string down that we're getting the tone. Okay? While you are plucking. So we want both of them. We want great left hand shape, okay? and a great sound from the cello. I've created, as always, some extra resources here uh, to go along with this lesson. Remember, with any piece, with this piece, the Dvorak Cello Concerto, Brahms Cello Sonata, whatever, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, High Cross Buns, it doesn't matter, you want to break them apart. So what I, one of the things I've created is, on another channel, practice loops, all right? Uh, YouTube Shorts, TikTok are great for this. You can go to the TikTok channel or you can go to the YouTube channel because the YouTube Shorts videos play on repeat and this will help focus your practice and help you learn to break pieces apart. So make sure you go to that channel for the cello practice loops. I've got a link down in the description. It will help you with your practice a lot. 
Now on this channel are the practice timers. But before I get to what those are, make sure you like and subscribe if this is helpful to you. Make sure you leave me a comment. If you're struggling with the left hand, struggling with the pizzicata, struggling to get the tone, leave me a comment, ask me a question so that I can help you down there. But the practice timers are here on the screen. If you don't know what that is, there's a video right here all about practice timers and what they are. If you've already seen that and you want to jump right in, you have your choice here on the screen. Thanks, and I will see you in the next one.